story to tell. The war over Sinai Peninsula was a battle between modern Israeli warplanes and Egyptian anti-missile systems. This was the key to determining the outcome of the Yom Kippur War of 1973. To support the ground forces of several Arab militaries against Israeli aircraft attacks, including some aircraft such as the Mirage F-2, which were built specifically for the ground attack role. The Soviet Union delivered to its allies the S-75 and S-125 missile systems, which were considered modern at the time. In the Vietnam battlefield, the S-75 was very successful against American aircraft. The S-125, on the other hand, only made its first appearance in the 1973 Yom Kippur War, although it had been in service with the Soviet Air Defense Forces since 1961. Previously, the S-125, S-200, and S-25 air defense missile systems were not exported by the Soviet Union to foreign countries, except for some S-25 batteries that were supplied to North Korea. Therefore, the US and Israel did not determine the technical characteristics of these missiles. The Israeli Air Force is certainly not as modern as the U.S. Air Force. To be able to counter the air defense systems of the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Israel was completely surprised with the new air defense weapons of the Arab countries. There were losses to the Israel fighter squadron in the early days of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. The F-4E Phantoms and F-2 Mirage fighters attempted to carry out attacks on the Arab forces and entered the fire zone of the S-125 missiles. The Israeli Air Force Initial losses to the new Egyptian S-125 missile systems were a key to the early Arab successes, but this advantage was quickly reversed by Israel. Due to the relatively short range of the Egyptian S-125, it could only protect within the western part of the Sinai Peninsula and could not cover the entire depth of their defense. Israel has cut off Egypt's ground forces from the protection of S-125 air defense systems. That was a key to Israel's victory. The Israeli army exploited a tactical error by Egyptian forces. On October 15, 1973, the Israeli army launched Operation Gazelle to break through the fragile and vulnerable lines of Egypt to cross the Suez Canal. With the implementation of deep thrust attacks, the objective of Operation Gazelle was to destroy the Egyptian anti-aircraft missile batteries if successful, it will allow Israel to unleash the power of its efforts. Colonel Ham Ares, commander of the Israeli army's Operation Gazelle, led a 12-kilometer breakthrough into Egyptian defenses within a few hours. 
and the Egyptians were completely surprised. Very quickly, Israeli mechanized units quickly destroy Egyptian troops to their missile size. When Egypt's air defenses were significantly weakened, the Israeli air force dispatched fighters from their second front in Syria to overwhelm and destroy the remaining Egyptian missile batteries. At this point, Egypt's ground forces has essentially lost their ability to resist. Without the share of the air defense system, the Israeli Air Force now attacked Egyptian territory like an empty place. Not only attacked military targets, but also destroyed water supplies, communication networks, and almost paralyzed Egypt's major cities. Israeli ground forces led siege to Egypt's Third Army soon after and almost completely surrendered. This event shook Egypt's leaders and quickly accepted the terms of a ceasefire to end the war. Egypt's defeat in 1973 Yom Kippur War was due to Egypt's failure to fully assess the situation when it decided to quickly liberate the Sinai Peninsula. This separated the Egyptian ground forces from air defense's umbrella of the S-125 and other missiles. Egyptian President Anwar Sadat was primarily responsible for this painful defeat. He rejected the opinion of Chief of the General Staff Saad al Shali in resolutely protecting strategic transport routes to protect the air defense systems. Israel has successfully exploited the weakness in the enemy's defense system due to the intervention of the Egypt's president and Israel took full advantage of its air superiority to quickly and effectively eliminate Egypt's ground forces. Israel has taken advantage of even the smallest opportunities to turn the tide against a much larger air force. My video about the Jump Kippur War 1973 answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.